The topic of today's sessions are the future of media and technology, the creative future of media and technology. Uh, Fast Company, for those of you who are less familiar with us, we're a, a New York-based uh, business media magazine and website that revolves around the topics of innovation and creativity and emerging trends. Um, Teams and brands that have been able not only to embrace but to anticipate this change have been in a very good position to succeed. But what we're going to discuss today is that this is no longer enough. In order to succeed in the future, brands need to do something else. And they need to do it meaningful to their consumers. And by meaningful, we mean useful. Brands who are not able to be meaningful will not survive. And brands who are will succeed and will thrive in the future. Have you ever paid a toll? without slowing down. You've gotten a call on your television. Hi. You look awful. I miss you. Or bought concert tickets from a cash machine. You will. And the company that'll bring it to you, AT&T. I'll spend a little bit of time talking with you about that and talking with you about three themes that uh, brands can um, use in order to bring more value and bring more meaning to the lives of consumers and to society. First of those themes is something uh, there's been a lot of talk about here, as well as in the broader digital community over the last couple of months, and it's the word reimagination. Uh, it's a phrase that uh, an internet analyst named Mary Meekers coined, uh, and it's, it's the idea that there's $6 trillion of, of, of business out there longing to be reimagined uh, through digital technologies in order to provide these promises to consumers. And we created the Headline News Cup Sleeve. In partnership with Tim Hortons, a global coffee chain, we designed a special news printer, which pulled out breaking news tweets from the Gulf News Twitter account and printed them on the custom-made coffee cup sleeve. The tweets were updated hourly, so everyone could enjoy fresh news with their freshly brewed Tim Hortons coffee. Every hour, every day. Uh, we've talked a lot about kind of usefulness, and, and we've had some really cool examples um, of, of usefulness. I, I want to speak to you maybe at a, at a little bit more of a, I don't know, conceptual level. So, so let me ask you a question. What is the most meaningful thing in your life? The, th the first thing that pops into your head. If I was to ask each and every one of you, what is the most meaningful thing in your life? It's probably a spouse, a relationship, a child an experience, an accomplishment, probably not something that has a great deal to do with marketing or brands. So if I was to ask you another question, is marketing, as we know it, maybe as we practice it, something a little bit like the, uh, what was it that Maria Luisa showed us? The, uh, oven. the oven TV? Something a little bit, weird, something a little bit maybe not that useful when it comes to really getting down to the nuts and bolts of the things that make us happy, the things that give us meaningful lives. I want to uh, thank everybody here for your questions and your time. And I want to thank you three guys for, for coming up here. Um, thanks very much. In uh, a half hour, we'll have the next session, which Teresa is uh, from, from uh, Co-Create, Fast Company's uh, creative site, is going gonna, is gonna to run. So I hope you'll be back here in a half an hour. And again, later today, uh, Mashable and uh, Flipboard and who else? Xbox, yes, and uh, a bunch of others. So um, thanks very much. Have a great time, and thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.